السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو آور پرچیزنگ پروسیس سیمینار ویبینار ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ ان الحمد للہ ان الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ المرسلین و نعود اللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دس ٹائم آور اسمپشن از پیپل ہیو آلریڈی گان تھرو ٹاپنگ دا ای والیٹ ایز ویل ایز picking the preferred packages so quick a uh, few updates from the rawaf mina package just so that you know these questions don't come up inshallah during our chat the transportation from airport to the hotel will be provided by rawaf mina even for custom flights okay the key part here is that uh, you need to make sure your guide your uh, service provider is aware of your flight arrangements and there are some uh, packages that have flights that are missing Rawaf Mina is working with Nusuf team and I believe this is the case with several other service providers also. Uh, we are very closely monitoring uh, how the packages are being selected in terms of the availability perspective and we'll regularly update the Rawaf packages document with any additional gateways with the availability if it changes so that this allows you to select packages uh with a with a higher availability so that you know it increases your chances of booking uh when the booking starts uh, as of right now we still don't have the information as to when the booking will start but inshallah ta'ala, we hope this will happen in the next few days definitely it's going to happen before the start of ramadan is what we have been told so at this point in time we are going to assume that the following steps have been completed today's session as uh, i mentioned at the beginning is is aligned towards understanding the purchasing process how do we go through and purchase the uh, packages quickly the package quickly uh, bear in mind it's it's very important that we all understand that the purchasing is based on first come first serve basis basically that means whoever is into the nusuk system uh, as soon as the purchasing starts and is able to swiftly quickly go through the purchasing process whether it is going through one package or in case if that package is not available going to the next package and how you move through each package uh, selection quickly is how you're going to be able to uh, increases the chances of you getting a package inshallah so by this time our assumption is you have the e wallet uh, top with appropriate funds and the preferred package selection has been put into the shopping cart you have gone through the uh, the review of the packages and you you picked one package which you consider as your top uh, preferred one and put it into the shopping cart and then the you selected the flight portion and you put it into the shopping cart oh unfortunately this is an error it's only one one preference can be added so package has been selected the flight portion has been selected and it has been put into the shopping cart as we have uh, mentioned earlier wherever possible avoid doing a custom flight a custom flight increases uh, your chances of missing a booking because of the following reasons one is the process of picking a custom flight will take you through the process of searching for a flight looking through for a flight and then deciding which flight you want to take because of the uh, the differences that might come up even on the day of uh, when the when the when the purchasing starts so that could delay that <coughs> the second challenge that you have is the the price of the uh, flights in the custom flight is based on the market price the market price today and the market price next week could be different so if the price is different for example if it's higher and if your e-wallet does not have enough funds there itself you you're going to run into a challenge with booking the the package so wherever possible as much as possible avoid the custom flight uh, there you might you might find a gateway that is not closest to you or it's not the gateway that you want but custom uh, going through custom flight will uh, reduce your chances of getting a booking so by this time so shopping cart should be ready and you should be ready for the booking as well as we are hoping that you have noted down some additional packages in case the preferred package is not 
uh, available. This should be noted down in uh, on, on your computer, whether it's on a notebook or any other form, but it should be available to you electronically and I'll show you why I'm referring to that one. So this is the process that we see in the booking that's going to come up with. You have a shopping cart. From the shopping cart, you're going to take the uh, select the uh, select the package uh, that you have that's in your shopping cart by clicking on the select uh, configure package. You're quickly going to do a review to make sure this is the one that you want because you do not want to get down to here and pay for it and then suddenly realize, wait a minute, wait a minute, I made a mistake. So you want to do a quick review. Again, this needs to be a quick re review just to look from top to bottom like is that the correct flight is that the correct package and so you're not you should not take more than a minute or two in this stage so if it is valid you move on you you press the purchase button which should come at the bottom of the where you see the save configuration now uh, at the bottom of all the calculations that's where we expect the purchase button to be inshallah we are not exactly sure where it will be but that's where we expect it to be so purchase press that one if it is successful, Alhamdulillah, more, uh, next step will be your Hajj visa and ticketing. Inshallah, ta'ala, you are all set, Inshallah. If this does not success, don't worry about it. Don't ponder, don't sit around wondering why it didn't go through because you will be losing the precious time because it, it did not go through. The, it, there are multiple reasons. One reason could be that specific package is sold out that specific package that you had preferred in your shopping cart that might have sold out it is also possible that the visa count might have uh, the the quota for the visa might have been exhausted but since you don't know that you should move on so the first thing that you need to do as soon as uh, if the success fail if the if you're not able to uh, successfully book the package you need to empty the shopping cart because if you don't empty the shopping cart it will not allow you to move forward so empty the shopping cart and i'll show you how to empty the shopping cart so once you empty the shopping cart go to these the list of uh, additional packages that you had picked pick the next package from your list and then uh, search with the package name in the uh, in the filter uh, of the packages and then go through the configuration process very very quickly so my assumption at this point in time is that you have practiced this enough that you know uh, how to quickly uh, configure a package how to quickly select the uh, number of uh, people in each room uh, Medina, Mecca, both you have to pick both of them remember that and you quickly make a decision quickly do a review everything is fine go to the purchase button and you continue on of course if the review if, when you're reviewing if it's not valid you just press the previous button go back and quickly correct uh, do not move forward if your quick review is not uh, valid because once you get down here you may not be able to come back here basically okay so this is the process that we believe the uh, purchasing process will be so let's quickly go through uh and view how we would do this one all right so here is the screen so you press you come in i mean this is the process and if somebody wants to quickly check my counter how long i take through this process you're more than welcome to do it because you do want to be pretty quick so you press this configure uh package you quickly look through the information here to make sure that everything is correct this is what i selected press next uh, pre okay, I need to press this, select the flight. I had not selected that. Uh, press next. And I'm ready to press the save configuration. So this is what you would do, save configuration. This is where we are expecting the purchase button would be. So you'd press this. So once you press this, you know either it has been suc successful or not. So if it is not successful, you quickly go to the package here. You say empty, empty it, and then you press on packages. You would go go back to your notepad where you have noted down all the pa preferred packages. You copy from here. You go back, search packages, click on this, select. Okay, so now I have this package. Weave details, 
And since I have already reviewed all this, I'm not going to waste the time on this. Configure package. Select, select, next. Next. And since I know which flight I want to take, I, do, I should not be scrolling up and down here. I should know this is the flight I want to take. I click on that. Press next. And I'm ready to purchase. So these are the steps that you need to take. Again, if this fails, I go up here. I empty this, empty my nest, empty the shopping cart. Go to my next package. Pick up the next package. Go back here to packages. View details. Again, I can browse through very, very quickly, but I know what I want since I this I've already gone through this one. Configure package. Select my occupancy, and in most cases, uh, the Rawaf Mina, most of the packages have quad occupancy. So you can go ahead and select that one. Go to the next. My flight choices. And I'm ready for booking. So this is how quickly, swiftly you need to uh, walk through the packages. Uh, so this is basically about the the, uh, the purchasing process, the booking process, and how you need to move fast quickly. Uh, Wasim, are there any questions that we need to answer, res respond right now? So the so one question that had come up separately was that, for example, for other countries, not non-US countries, there are fewer group flights. And uh, for example, one brother was from, I think, Australia or something. They were looking at flights. The group, there was only one option for a group flight, and that would arrive later than when the package starts. So in scenarios like this, where if they don't have a flight that is landing on time, should they wait? Should they book a custom flight? Those kind of questions will come here. OK. Um, go ahead and go through the custom flight so that you are aware of it. but as they are updating some package, some flights, you should take a look at it. Now, uh, I'm, I'm not certain I understand the flight is coming later. The flight is coming after the package has started, basically. So so I think yeah. in- Yeah, so basically the scenario for one brother was where the package starts, let's say from 7th, and the group flight is landing, let's say on 9th. Yes, there are some some of those cases. I think in those cases, uh, my recommendation is to take the group flight itself to avoid the complications of the custom flight. But as uh, as I clarified earlier, you will still get one day in Medina, inshallah. So if you're landing in Jeddah on the 9th, they will transport you from Jeddah to Medina and then the checkout will be the next day. So at least you will have a little bit of time in Medina. If you go through custom flight again, as I mentioned earlier, you have you have multiple uh, challenges. Now, Australia is a little bit of a different scenario because there are fewer. There is only one gateway out of Australia, which is Sydney. So uh, yes, there are challenges if you have to pick custom flight. So go ahead and do it, but just figure out uh, how you can overcome the the delay that it might cause in terms of the selection process and the e-wallet. So uh, make sure you top your e-wallet with a little bit extra funds, just in case if the flight cost changes by the time the purchasing comes in. Anything else, uh, Vasil? Yeah, there was a question on an international flight. Somebody wants to go to India first and then come from India to, to Hajj, yeah. Again, it's a custom flight. You have to be careful how you're doing it. As of right now, uh, Nusu custom flight option, the Al Musafir is not offering a multi city. So in that case, you'll have to basically get a flight from uh, from India to Jeddah and back to India, 
and then another separate on your own you'll have to get a ticket to india basically at this point in time at least unless all the nusuk uh, custom uh, portal uh, changes their options and allows you multi city okay and uh, one more thing was uh, they had questions about package rava many packages that are not in the list that you shared so yes they, they wanted to you know, like yeah, what to do yes the the Rawaf team is continuously updating the flights actually since yesterday they've been doing it they are hoping to complete all of this by end of today early tomorrow uh, there are some um, some packages which still don't have flights they are working on it okay now in my list i did not include some other packages which does have flight because i was waiting for an update from rawaf mina i received it a little bit earlier today we will we will go through and uh, sort it out and update and release uh, uh, update update the uh, the list and share it back inshallah okay now quickly a question has kept coming up about the guide now why do you want to have a trusted guide during the hajj time why are we uh, repeatedly saying please uh, if you if you have been with us and if you've gone through our presentations if you've gone through our uh, guidance etc so we hope you trust us and we hope you pick us as your guide and we hope you pick the Rawaf Mina package because based on our experience from past year, a guide plays a significant role in the success of a, uh, if a pilgrim's uh, journey. A guide is the one that, uh, that facilitates the different things during the Hajj, the accommodation, the, the process, uh, Jamara, the transportation, all these things are done by a guide. Last year, there were several hujjah that struggled greatly because of uh, lack of proper guidance uh, from from their from the guide from the guidance team. So we really urge you carefully evaluate who you pick as your guide, and in turn, which packages that you pick based on uh, your comfort level with the guide. Okay. So some, in some cases, people are asking about other service providers, commenting on those service providers. Yeah. And then also have a question again about Qurbani. Yeah. Udiya, as we have mentioned before, uh, most of the packages are not including it or giving it as an option. We realize that. So uh, you should not worry greatly about it. Uh, there are several counters in Saudi Arabia and there are some online sites also where you can order the udia the qurbani um, and again the qurbani has to be performed within the precinct of mecca it cannot be done outside of mecca it has to be done within the perimeter of mecca so uh, once you go through the booking process inshallah ta'ala will share additional information and uh, secondly we are we also will arrange for uh, Udiya from for our team, inshallah, for our group and anyone else that might be interested in for a fairly uh, reasonable cost, inshallah. Okay, next, Wasim. Uh, then there's a question about transport from between cities, like going from Mecca to Medina or from Jeddah to Medina. Is that through that, train or is it through a bus? That is going to be specified in the package itself. If you look at the package, um let me see if i can pull one package okay the transfer so this package is transfer is by bus okay so but there will be other package that you will see by train if they are doing any transfer by train you will see it listed right here what type of transfer they are giving okay. yeah in some cases people are asking some packages don't have only cord occupancy options i think we answered that before that if it's like some not all packages will give you options to do double occupancy so yeah uh, many of the service providers are taking the stand that they want to offer the lowest possible package cost so they have mostly gone with the quad occupancy in most of the packages but at least Rawaf Mina has mentioned that you know if a um, if one of our member decides uh, requires or would prefer a triple or double they will take it into consideration. It is just that we cannot guarantee it until uh, we put the request in and they can look at the availability and uh, approve it basically. 
so at this point in time in most packages are giving only quad occupancy so while i'm here i just want to point out while you're reviewing the packages so you should be able to see most of the information that you are you are uh, concerned about the duration for example the type of the mina camp uh, the transfer if it's if it is by uh, if it is by train or bus, if that is something that is critical to you, is Hadi, uh, the Udiya, the Khurbani, if it is included, it will tell you included. If it is additional cost, as in this case, it says it's an additional cost or it will clearly indicate right here that it is not even included. There's a bunch of questions. I think people are confused about this occupancy. They're saying, what if we do quad occupancy and we have three people? So if you can talk about how they separate by genders here. Yeah yeah actually a question came up earlier i want to address that also so if you if your quad occupancy is the only option if, or if that's the option that you pick if there are three people based on the gender you will be play appropriately assigned to the rooms so if for example if in the group of three people there is two men and a sister the sister will be placed with the sister's group in a quad occupancy and the two brothers will be sharing a room with the two other brothers okay so bear this in mind unless you have a triple occupancy option you will be separated based on the gender gender uh, assignment of the rooms yeah and then i think in general people are asking about questions about that i'm not able to purchase so yeah it is not available to purchase right now it's only review so you will not be able to buy uh, uh, one question is what if they open up in the night, middle of the night? Like last year, they were saying that some packages went online middle of the night. So how do we get notified? When will it start? Rawaf Mina has informed us that they will get the notification at least 24 hours before. So as soon as we find out, we will broadcast it in our group, inshallah. Um, so you, it's very important that you check our group at least a few times in a day to see if we have put any updates out there. So we are going to put the update out and we'll broadcast it multiple times, inshallah ta'ala, so that it does get to the attention of our people. So inshallah, inshallah, we are hoping we are not going to be in the same situation as last year, where suddenly they were released in the middle of the night and people did not know. Now, I want to repeat for everybody's uh, attention, the process, Nusu process, the Hajj process, last year and this year and probably going forward is going to be very very dependent on you all you all have to actively pursue uh, the Hajj package as you have seen so far through the registration process through the review process you have to be very attentive to the group chats that if you are if you are part of a group chat or the announcements on Nusuk or the announcements on Twitter or announcements on Instagram or Facebook, whatever social media that you are comfortable with, you have to be aware. So this is very much, very much dependent on how actively you can pursue. I have, I have uh, received some requests from people, please ping me directly or please call me directly. Please accept my our apology. We cannot do that because we have like almost 1500 people in our group will not be able to call all the 1500 people. Okay, let's see next. Yeah, uh, the so some people asking about the which group to follow. So I'll, I'll put the WhatsApp group in the link in the chat. Uh, the first group that we had is full. So I'll, I'll share a second one. Somebody is asking about zone D hotels. Uh, just one quick uh, comment on this is that the zone filters are not working that great. But but there are other zones filters also. Uh, there are other zone hotels in Rawaf Mina as well. So whatever Farid Bhai shared from uh, premium packages, you know those are actually not not zone D. So so I think they are somebody is asking Farid Bhai for some examples of Rawaf Mina packages that are not zone D. That are not zone D. Yeah. Or or in zone D. No, not they were basically uh, closer to. Okay. So, is this, so this is the list that uh, we shared earlier to you, the Rawaf Mina packages, okay? So if you look here, um, if you look for the Rawaf, in the Rawaf Mina pack, in the Rawaf Mina group of packages, there are two 
hotels which are close to um, which are close to the haram where, right close to the haram one is the swiss al muqam swiss al muqam the other one is the address hotel okay this this okay the address hotel here this is one of them okay this is considered in zone b but it is very much close to the haram also okay so this is one of them with the al-kafsh package um, and then the other one is Swiss al Maqam. Swiss al Maqam is not here because the flights were had not been updated in the into the uh, into the Nusuk as of yesterday. That's why this list doesn't uh, contain that one. Otherwise, the, the two hotels that are very much close to the Haram, one is Swiss al Maqam, the other one is the Address Hotel. So uh, our the original understanding was uh, Rawaf al Mina was Rawaf Mina was going to add additional hotels across from the Haram, but for uh, reasons uh, best known to them, they they have only included these two hotels close to the Haram. Yeah, and the follow-up question on this, some of this is, uh, can you, I think we have done it in previous videos, but uh, people are asking about shuttles. How do they work? How frequent are they? And uh, yeah. The shuttles are frequent from uh, most of the hotels uh, until about the night of the 4th of Dhul Hijjah. After the 4th of Dhul Hijjah, uh, either the shuttles will stop or they'll become uh, infrequent. Uh, the reason for that is the Makkah police. They will start blocking the roads going towards Haram in preparation of uh, the uh, the transportation to Mina, which will start on the eighth of yes, seventh night or eighth of Dhul Hijjah. So, in preparation of that, starting from the fifth uh, of Dhul Hijjah, they will start blocking the streets. That's why the shuttles will become a little bit infrequent. But other than that, most in most cases, there are very frequent shuttles within half an hour to forty five minutes uh, from both sides going to the hotel as well as from the hotel to the haram. And the Voco, the one one good part of the Voco Hotel is, it is it is one mile away straight road. So even in case if a shuttle is not available, uh, as long as uh, you do not have challenges walking, it's a fairly decent walk. Somebody's asking about Sunni. Uh, are you uh, going to go? Are there going to be Sunni guides? Uh, and also some some people asking, how do we know who is the guide of each package? Okay, the guide to each package is assigned after uh, the packages have been purchased and the groups have been formed. And the guide will be assigned with uh, uh, our uh, input, uh, the service provider will assign the guide. So we have already lined up our guides and we have already provided the list to the uh, to Rawaf al Mina. So as soon as the packages are purchased and we get the names of the uh, groups, basically, we will assign the guides to each one of them, inshallah. Uh, as far as Sunni, more all the guides are, as to the best of our understanding, are Sunni. I mean, in our group, of course, all the guides are Sunni. And then there's a question that if my package is Medina first and my flat is landing in Jeddah, will the service provider arrange transportation to Medina? And then yes. there is a related second question that do I have to perform Umrah or do I go directly to Madina? Okay. Uh, I have answered the first question multiple times. All transportation from the airport to the hotel, even in case of custom flight, even if you're not taking the flight that the service provider, the group is providing, still the service provider will uh, provide for the transportation, especially this has been confirmed with Rawaf al Mina, that, uh, you know, including everything, even custom flight, even if you're delayed, you miss a flight, whatever is the case, they will make sure you are transported from the airport to the hotel. Now, as far as uh, the Umrah part, if you're, if you're starting your uh, package from Medina, you're not going to perform the Umrah first. You're going to go to Medina first. So what that means is if your uh, package is starting in in Medina, you're not going to do the Ihram uh, uh, before uh, flying in there. You're from Medina when you are uh, starting towards Makkah, that's when you're going to get into Ihram uh, at that point in time. And then 
uh, there's a miqat in the on the way to Medina and to on the way to Makkah, uh, etc. Basically, so we'll go through these details later on. But even even uh, before your flight, we are going to go through all these things. So hold off on this for now. Can can we can we go earlier than the package dates? So the package starts at tenth. Can I go eighth or seventh? Things like that. Yeah. I mean, if you do the custom flight, yes, but not through the group flights, of course, right? So if you go through the custom flight, you can go earlier, uh, but hotels would not be available uh, earlier than what when uh, uh, when your packet starts. And I think in, even in custom flights, in some cases, Nusuk is limiting the range of dates you can search for. So yeah, something to that. You yeah, can't go you, you too much early too. also. Yeah. yeah, you gotta be careful with all these things. So uh, I wanna take an opportunity to point out something. I mean, I think I have mentioned this in uh, a few posts earlier. As you get close to the uh, booking and as you, uh, if you're booking, if you're unable to book, there are lots of groups, lots of individuals that are trying to promote packages that they uh, claim that they can get you a package, they can get you into the Hajj, etc. Please be extremely careful. Uh, so, the, plus, I've heard of uh, other situations where people promise that you know they can get you a Hajj package with the Hajj visa and everything, and ask you to put down a deposit, a hefty deposit, and then uh, people have been in serious trouble last year, losing a big chunk of that money. Anything else, Hussein? Yeah, I think mostly and people are asking about WhatsApp group again. So yeah, we shared yeah. the list. Okay. So we have been sharing the list of these packages and these documents that Fariba is showing. They get shared in the WhatsApp group. So if you're not on the part of the group, uh, please join that. Please join the group. Please stay active, uh, actively follow the posts in our group. Uh, and as we start getting closer to the booking and as we start getting into the booking phase, it's really important that you go through, you spend some time reviewing the packages, reviewing how packages are configured so that when the time comes for the booking and the purchase of the package, you should be able to swiftly move forward, inshallah. Okay, Jazakallah Khair for joining our call today.